Hey, it's been a bit of a while since I've done um, a bit of a vlog and said hello, as um, as they say. So I thought I would do a short vlog on what it's been like to live in a caravan for over five months. Um, so you may or may not know that I came up here to uh, Northumberland at the end of March um, as a campsite, caravan site, motorhome site, warden. Uh, we immediately went on to lockdown, so I sort of got grounded here for a while. Um, I can't remember what it was now, is it 10 weeks? I did go back home in June for a couple of weeks, and then I've been back here um, up in Northumberland um, as a campsite warden ever since, and living in a tiny home. So I'm in an Adria, uh, or Adria caravan. Quick look outside. Here we are. So that's the Altia 432PX van. Um, so that's my van where I am. And oh. So it's a, a, a day off day today. So I've been um, shopping and giving the van a bit of a clean up um, and everything. Right, so let's say living in the van, what's, uh, what's it been like? So to be absolute honest, it's been um, a lot easier and a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it may be a little bit claustrophobic and it hasn't been that way. Um, Sandra, my wife, has been to see me and a few weeks ago, uh, several weeks ago, I've got one of my dogs staying with me, Russia. Um, so she's a tiny dog. Um, she's on the bed at the moment, so you'll see her in a minute. Um, so it's been nice to have the dog with me, uh, a bit of company. And I've done some little mods in the van to make things easier. So let's have a little look at, um, at the van. Right, so because I've got the dog with me, I've got some temporary seat covers um, on where I sit, and I've got some new ones on order, um, because little dog has very, very muddy paw prints. So this is um, a single sheet, um, single sheet, a single quilt cover um, on here. And I tend to sit in this sort of corner a lot. And on the back here, this thing was always getting a little bit in my way. So I treated myself to a bolster pillow and I can sort of part my bum on there. I don't know if you can see. Um, but basically I sit somewhat like that. Um, so this has been absolutely, yeah, thumbs up, brilliant, absolute best thing ever. Um, and where are we now? So the caravan is a fixed bed van. So that's sort of looking around where the bed is. So I've got like a dinette table here. Um, so I spend a lot of time um, just sat on the computer, um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I do my video ed editing here as well. Um, if you're wondering what I edit my vid uh, videos with, it's Corel Video Studio, so this is the latest version 2020. Um, I've got a little stand here, um, so sometimes I've done video conferencing, some Zoom calls. Um, recently, well, this is quite new, I've actually got myself a 4G router and I might do a separate vlog on that. Uh, I've not had it long and I'm going to um, I'm going to be fitting an external aerial on that very very shortly. I'm just waiting for it to arrive. So that's been, um, that's been really good. The Wi-Fi here is pretty poor. Uh, the upload is just, you just can't upload. So I have been tethering on my phone and making do, but this is... Um, yeah, this has made things a lot easier. Um, I've been buying some of these little stick-on containers, bathroom containers, um, storing knickknacks in. So I've got some TV remote controls. I'm keeping a diary um, where I am. Glasses and glasses cleaner. Um, so as I say, this is my sort of uh, desk area. Um, the router I've got, yeah, I can hardwire that in. It's not hardwired in at the moment. Um, USB hub for plugging external USB things in. Oh, I'm just going to unplug myself. Um, and a hard drive, external hard drive there. This is a remote control for 
the convector heater that I've got. And so let's come and look here. So convector heater here. And I've bought some of these mud catching rubber bat rugs because um, when I'm working and the weather is a bit uh, wet, um, it's sort of, I don't know, it's saving the laminated floor in. Uh, up underneath here, I've got another little carpet where I keep my shoes. So these are my sort of work, walking boot shoes, heavy duty, but they're waterproof, they're fantastic. So that's a little toolbox. Uh, skaggy pair of trainers, oh, but they're comfortable. Um, yeah, back of the door, um, tea towel, apron. I've not done a barbecue since I've been away. Um, I've got my hoodie hooked, uh, hooked on the back of the door and the dog's lead. Uh, oh, look at this. I'm going a bit soft in my old age. Um, the wildlife here is absolutely amazing. And um, so I've got peanuts, seed and fat bowl for the birds. Um, so the Adria has a three ring burner here and a sink here. I don't use that three ring burner. And I don't use a sink, I use the um, campsite washing up sink. Um, it's just a lot easier. Um, the electric kettle, which obviously I do use. And what else we got here? So yeah, so it's uh, cupboards and stuff. So up here, in kitchen roll, coffee, tea, sugar. So some biscuits up here. I keep my bread here. Um, sorry, washing tablets for when I do my clothes washing. In here, I've got some bowls, mugs, plates. So the plates are all melamine, um, so they're sort of chip proof and the plastic that they don't go and break. Uh, this cupboard here is, oh, there's all sorts of crap in here. It's a, it's a tall cupboard. So I've got a lack of tall cupboards, so there's all sorts in here from, well, let's have a look. There's ketchup in here, salt, Thousand Island dressing, fly spray, there's even some WD-40 air fresheners. As you see, all, all sorts of bits and bobs in here. Um, even a couple of wine glasses, hang on a minute, hey, wine, wine glasses. Um, sorry, fire um, blanket, you never know um, what could happen. Sorry, peanuts for the birds. Dog treats. We'll come to the dog treats in a minute. Uh, sorry, dog dog treats. Um, a little shelf here. Uh, there's a spirit level on there. That's my motor mover. I've got this little thing from a cheapo shop which just hangs. So it's a campsite map, some hand sanitizer, tool, torch, uh, my drugs. I'm on statins. Uh, head torch, dog bags. Car keys, lob into there. Um, extension up here, as you can see. Uh, what have I got down here? So, cutlery drawer, nothing too exciting in there. Um, it's pretty rammed with stuff in, including a screwdriver and a tape measure. In here, um, some microwavable um, containers. So, if I want to microwave some soup, beans, or things like that, I can do. Um, some bags and other crap underneath here and um, there's an electric cable because i've got um a, a outdoor socket uh, outside so in here i've got some um, space for my induction hob um i'll do a link up here because i did a review on this induction hob so what do i cook on so i use a microwave and an induction hob. So as I say, um, check out that link that I just put up there and you can see the induction hob. And I've got some induction pans and induction frying pans all tucked here. Sorry, um, gas isolators are there. Uh, boom, 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 this convector heater. This is absolutely, this is, this is um, brilliant. I can't remember if it's Lidl or Aldi I got that from. Um, I've had one of those in different units for a while. Uh, oh, sorry. So obviously this dinette table makes into a bed, um, and normally my camera gear and things are under the bed. I've had my big camera out. So this is uh, an EOS 7D. That's a 300mm lens on there. I was photographing the moon the other night. Um, 
let me put in a couple of pictures of the moon um, here. So this is the moon three or four nights ago. Yeah, that was the moon. Um, so looking back there, um, so yeah, so in here I've got loads of shelves, long, um, full of all sorts. So these are waterproofs, so I can just grab those if needed. These are uh, work items, so I've got some uh, hats, work gloves, I've got some tea towels in here. And I've got a fly screen, um, what goes on my door. Um, I've not really had many flies or blue bottles or wasps or anything. In here, it's cleaning stuff. So brush, I use that a lot for cleaning the carpets. Um, oh, I've got here, um, Hoover. Yeah. Um, that's another um, two ring um, cob if needed. This is um, bin bags and little bags for rubbish. Uh, low wattage kettle, if I'm on a campsite, it's got um, super low wattage kettle needed. Um, just a bit of crap. Weddingtons are under here. Um, and I've got another pair outside in a utility tent. Uh, these are dog, dog things for putting the dog lead on uh, when the dogs are here. So we've got the... Um, Tumatic gas heater, I, ah, I don't use that um, end of period or the gas are really seriously very 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 rare because um, I'm always on electric so wardrobe so yeah a um, couple of laptop cases here um, there's more isolators tucked away the back you possibly can't see is where I've got a fuse box I overdid some of the clothes um so when i went back a few weeks ago i nipped home for the weekend i actually took some item of clothing because i just haven't been using them um so i, I bought too many trousers um uh, primarily and I, I just took them back so i've got um uh, a lightweight coat a puffer jacket a couple of long sleeve shirts um this is my main waterproof coat so i do wear that a lot um i've got two hoodies up to being a campsite warden, I never owned a hoodie. I owned two. So what I did actually, um, because I knew some of the clothing that I wear is going to get trashed um, just because of the nature of the job, um, I just went and got this really cheap shite from Primark. And to be honest, yeah, Primark. Yeah, hoodie. Um, so I've got three pair of jeans. So two two in and one on so that gives me um normally one in use one dirty wash and then one spare in case it rains um so yeah so that's in the wardrobe right these cupboards are just pretty well full of crap so this is um oh things to repairing things from glue to fuses to Cable tie, dog bags, sticky tape, so that's an empty box, some silicon spray. So it's sort of um repairy type things. That continues over here, so that's a juice uh power bank, batteries, clips, all sort of bits for repairing um things. Uh oh, no then, sorry, these uh spotlights um and reading lights here. Reshop snacks. So I do like the old pack of crisps. I've got these, these um, cheddar little minis and these red Leicesters are delicious. So yeah, so they're up there. Uh, right, okay, paperwork and bits and bobs here. T the things to hand, so obviously that's an OS map. Um, notebook, so it's sort of like papers and paperwork, um, things like that in that cupboard. This one here, um, sorry, I've got sorry, a few cameras that I use for vlogging and stuff with. So this is, I'm on the GoPro um, uh, Hero 7 Black at the moment, but this is um, this is one of the little cannons that I sometimes use. 
so let me just put that there out of the way um so yeah that's uh canon that's a, a joby gorilla pod um some other sort of glasses which when we're in transit we keep them there. there's a webcam there and in this overhead cupboard um techie bits so drives card readers earphones microphones uh as i say sort of tech um a box of crap so <laughs> i say crap um this is uh, uh this is this is quite sweet and um, we've had this for many years um where when we used to go camping with the with the children's they were little we used to uh sort of review campsites and put our notes on them anyway so that's bits and bobs here glass um so it might sound really really silly up to becoming a warden we didn't actually have any glasses we used to just drink out of cans and bottles of a couple of glasses uh bluetooth speaker so sometimes um i'll put something on my phone and play with bluetooth speaker i'm forever cleaning my glasses um so spec wipers okay so we were on to um a question that i asked some time back and it's like what do you eat so what do i eat that's a good question so i am really lazy if i'm absolutely honest um so i mainly am living on microwave meals i'll sometimes get the induction hob out and fry some bacon sausages eggs um but really primarily it's just because i'm on my own i can't be asked cooking quick and simple microwave meals so we're going to investigate my fridge in a minute um, but in this cupboard here um, you can see some other bits and bobs there's some hot dogs sort of pot noodly type things soups beer um, in here this is my dirty wash bag so I leave that at the end of the bed and as I get um, any dirty washing it goes into here so you'll have noticed on some videos I've had my microwave used to sometimes go here and it was just where my caravan is um under some trees and this area is quite a dark caravan anyway and it was blocking a little bit of daylight um out of this window so i've actually moved the microwave onto here uh and i'm on my own it doesn't matter and it works absolutely brilliant absolutely no problem whatsoever there is a divider here which obviously you can't pull over but i don't use that anyway uh, it's really 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 rarely 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 used um so things plugged in so i've got um a big extension thing here with all plugs in a really old tv with freeview i did bring a freeview recorder um thinking that whilst i'm away for six months i'm going to watch a lot of tv and you know what uh i've just not watched really any tv so the only tv that i tried to catch is six o'clock uh the six o'clock news and that's about it oh i'm um, sorry i've just noticed my router has just gone over uh, put that back there and um, so yeah so that um that basically can go my tv sort of turns so i can turn it around and watch it from the chair there uh, which I sometimes do but more often than not um, especially when I finish work I tend to lie down stretch my legs um, and it, I watch the TV from the bed there's the dog all snoozing hello Russia um, so yeah so the bed um, so a nice um, quilt my pillows I'm a bit fushy with pillows so I've got proper um, feather pillows um, I can't be doing with uh, nylon-y type bedding. I think it's shit and it's horrible. Um, so I've got some like, quite decent bedding. Perils of having a dog with me is this dog. She's got diggy little legs and she attracts grit. So um, I'm forever uh, swiping grit out of the bed. And she sometimes uh, during the night will snuggle down and sort of get in with me and keep warm. Um, as you can see, she's... Hey, Russia baby. She's very comfortable. Um, right, so, well, 
other cupboards, um, more bits and bobs in here. So it tends to be uh, my smalls, uh, underwear and socks is in here. Um, I've got joggers here, so I wear joggers. I don't wear uh, pajamas. Um, I normally sleep naked, um, but whilst I'm away, just in case I get cold out, I wear joggers, uh, t-shirts. Nothing has been ironed for over five months. Ba -ba -ba. Um, so t-shirts are up here. I've kept them there because they get a little bit of air to them when they've been in a cu when they've covered for a while. They just tend to not get damp, but dampish. Um, that's a towel, um, wash bag. This cupboard is pretty empty. So there's so much storage space in this caravan. So these are spare throws. So you see on the bed, I've got a throw because of the dog. Um, right, so these little lights uh, here, I'll, what I'll do is I retrofitted these and I'll put a link there. So these are spotlights dimmable with USB. So again, follow that link back uh, there and you can see um, how I fitted these. So these um, are dimmable spotlights and on and off. And they've got two USB cables so you can charge USB up from them. At the back here I've got an extension. I've got my alarm clock, another uh, type C, that's for my Huawei P20 Pro phone um, on here. These are spare chargers. Um, I've borrowed some of these to campers who have lost or forgotten to bring them. Uh, I've got a tablet with me, um, which I've not really used. That's an Amazon parcel, that's a Christmas present. Da, da, da. Um, so I've um, done a drone review and I've ended up with a spare drone. Um, so I've got that, so that's going to go back. I've got a Chromebook here. And, you know, bitterly disappointed with the Chromebook. Um, I thought it would be quite good and it's pretty shite, to be honest. Uh, okay, so onwards we go into my sort of washroom area. Da, da, da. And here um, is my sink and vanity unit. So we have got these sort of storage areas here. Uh, and these are fine and I've always used those and kept things in. So when you're in transit, you can keep things in. They don't come flying out. But whilst I'm here, again, I've been finding these stick-on things um, great. So there's my toothpaste, toothbrush razor shaving foam deodorant combs um in here it's a bit like a under the kitchen sink um mainly cleaning products and some disinfectant um i don't use in my flush uh, we're talking about flush but i don't use the pink flush it's horrible stuff it goes black and gunky and it's shite to be honest and i use nappy san as a flush um cheap cheerful does the job and non-bio pretty environmentally friendly so it's going so cleaning stuff in here um yeah hand wash um this is an old skaggy towel and um, so when after i've had a shower i tend to put that down on the floor um another sort of towel that i use if i've been having a wash or a shave Got microfiber mop. Uh, these things are if I'm away and I go into a, 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 a shower that's on site basically. I don't wear Crocs. Mm. Uh, that's dog food. Uh, dog eats uh, dried dog food. So dog food's by the door here. If I leave the door open, so let's open and leave the door open. I've actually got a robin what actually comes inside the caravan physically inside i've had chickens in the caravan but i've actually got a robin that comes for um for a bit of a nose bag um right shower and toilet so i have been using this um obviously quite a bit so i've got a duck board um here um so if i've just had a shower and the shower base is damp obviously i use these microfiber cloths to, to dry it out 
put the duck pool on and I put a little carpet on so I've got some on my feet so there's the loo and another stick on um, thing with some shower gels on and I've just changed my shower head onto one of these things uh, with these beads in so it gives a finer spray and you've got a switch on the side of it here to adjust the shower head uh, and it well the jury's out to whether or not that gives a longer shower and uses less water seems to uh, light um, so loo rolls and toilet fluids in here and so sort of going back oh, hello um, you can see so so shower curtain comes around, dressing gown on the back of the door. Um, yeah, so all in all, five months, another month to go of living in my little tiny home. Uh, right, so, um, so all the lights have been changed to LEDs as well. Uh, as you possibly can or can't see and i'm going to go and put up the bird feeders um and we'll have a look at what birds come to take the food they'll be over straight away actually the birds here are very very hungry all the time so quick look out no robin but hello chickens um, i'll cover dog biscuits they'll all come running in here they come there you go once one's seen it here they go yeah, there we are, there we are. And, um, yeah, I just finished that video and I forgot, I didn't show you what's in my fridge. So, um, come, let's have a look in the fridge. Da -da -da. So, this is um, a, a three-way fridge. <clears throat> so it can run on 12 volts um, when you're towing to cool down the van, the van, the fridge. You can run it on gas and electric obviously i'm on electric so let's say i have just done a shop so we're stocked up so we've got some cheese eggs some pepperoni sausages sorry i'm um oh, nibbly one of these at the moment um beers water um i've got some pepsi that's a prawn cocktail some spread buttery type stuff um i've got some fish spicy sausages pies more cheese um what we've got in here so that's a, a microwave burger a microwave hot dog so they're quick and simple um dinner time things a bar of chocolate and um yeah but basically um sorry today i went to asda and let me do tesco's uh microwave meals so that's um liver and bacon um chicken tikka that's a cod um you get a sort of gist of um, the chili con carne there i've got here now that's a lamb steak um ale with mash um yeah so it's a, a bit cheating but it does the job and it works and it's quick and simple um and helps save on the washing up as well right back on chickens right let me go put these bird feeders up and um i'll call back in oh hang on me sorry as well as that there's um normally a load of sparrows uh yellow tits the robins starlings blackbirds and all sorts um coming out oh my golly blue sky it's been uh it's been lashing down all day all right let me go put this up Okay, so yeah, seat here. Um, so chickens, chickens, chickens. So the chickens are below the bird feeders because as the seeds drop out, the chickens will be um, noshing away. So there we are. So I've got seed here. Um, that's out. Extended uh, fat balls and nuts. So we'll uh, have some birds there shortly. So um, it's Friday afternoon, so sort of changeover uh, day. Oh, the weather has gone really nice, unbelievable. So we've got a lovely little uh, airstream over here, and um, 
uh, and Ariba, and we had caravans and motorhome here. They've gone motorhomes here, more tents going up there. Facilities block over there. Right, into the uh, back into the van. Right, so we're using these um, gravy biscuits as treats for Russia. So, yeah, she likes the treat. Come on, on Russia, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Good. Oh, beg, beg, beg. So she likes to beg. She's a really good girl. And down, down. Good girl. And beg. Down. Beg. There we are. She's beautiful. Okay, so yeah, so that's um, inside my little tiny home. Um, it's really strange to think, actually, this time next month I'm going to be back home for winter. Um, so I'm making some decisions what I'm going to do when I get home and start making some plans for next spring. So I hope that was of some use and you enjoyed it. If you did do, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like and um, subscribe to the channel if you want to. And if you want... <laughs> and if you want to get notification when I upload a, um, a video, hit that notification bell, ding ding, and I'll see you guys on the next one.